here's just a quick upper body routine to help uh, with overall joint health, joint range of motion, particularly through our shoulders, through our shoulder blades and our glenohumeral joints. What you're going to need, if you have bands and you have just light tubing, awesome, grab that. If you don't, I'll show you how to do the exercise without the bands, without the light tubing, um, and then grab something like a towel or either just a long stick that you can hold, like a hockey stick might work well, uh, but something where you can have your hands out about double shoulder width apart, maybe even a little wider just for a good stretch, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is scapular car, scapular, um, controlled articular rotation. So again, controlled, pulling back, retraction, depression, down and in. We're gonna go for five, nice and slow. Up, around, down, back and in. Up, around, down, back and in. Let's go two more. Up, around, down, back and in. And the last one, up, around, down, Beautiful and a really good exercise, very simple exercise, but to help strengthen our rotator cuffs. One that, you know, if you're doing it on the daily, good for you. And I do it before every uh, upper body workout that I do, where I'm just going to hold my hands. External rotation. So from here, we leave a little bit of a gap, maybe a 15 degree gap. And then from here, I'm just going to rotate out and just sort of feel my shoulder blades come in and out. I definitely feel it more on my right side. My right shoulder tends to be a little stronger, a little healthier than my left. Same thing on the left side here. So we'll go in and out for 10 reps. Nice upright posture, very important. As you do so, make sure our T-spine is uh, flattened out as much as we can. So we're working our scapula in its proper range of motion rather than being tilt and hunched forward. Let's go two more. One and two. Okay, for this exercise, again, one of those shoulder health exercises you kind of can't do enough of. We're gonna do band pull-aparts. With our band pull-aparts, we'll do them split stance. Doesn't need to be too heavy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work all of the muscles right in between our shoulder blades here as we do so. So if I don't have a band, this is what it looks like. Pull out, just a little pinch, come back. Pull out, just a little pinch, come back. We're gonna go two, three. The band will work well, just adds a little bit of tension. We don't want too much tension. We definitely don't want to turn it into a tricep extension. But again, this is one of those exercises that if you do it more and more often, it'll help to prevent shoulder injuries, even if you're doing it body weight. And your shoulder is the most injured joint in the human body, given its large range of motion and all the different muscular attachments that it has. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my band. It's not too tight. I'm going to go into a split stance. The reason why I do that is because it's going to help me to make sure that I maintain a neutral spine. I'm not overextended here. The other thing that you don't want to do is pigeon your neck forward. And from here, I probably need to double up my band. Let's see how we're going to do this. All right, we'll see what we can do here. We'll double up a little bit and then I'm going to pull. One. So I got that split stance, maintaining that nice neutral posture. Two, three. Let's go 15. We'll do two sets of it. Four, five. Trying to make sure my traps, the muscles surrounding my neck, aren't activating too much. We're at seven, so I'm not shrugging up as I do so. Eight, nine. And if you don't have a band, you're just doing this body weight. Ten, one, two, three. Feeling that little contraction right at the bottom of my shoulder blades and good time as I do so. So I'm feeling it again, just right in this area. The next stretch we're going to do, this is where you need your towel if you don't have a band. This is what we call dislocate. So dislocate, essentially what happens with our shoulders, particularly our rotator cuffs, as we get tighter through our pecs, through our anterior shoulder compartment, we tend to slouch forward and that's where we can start to get some issues. With this exercise, it's gonna do our bicep tendon also two contributes to this. What this is gonna do is just gonna reverse that effect, do the opposite. So with your dislocate, you're gonna hold, Keep your hands out wide, and then from here, I'm gonna stretch behind, coming out, good stretch, shoulders pinched together, and then we come back and up like so. So from a side angle view here, again, I don't want overextension, and I don't want my head coming forward. I'm just gonna stretch all the way back, feel that stretch through my chest, through my biceps, and come back to the closer I go with my hands, the harder I'm gonna make this exercise, stretching out and coming back, three. Good, and if it's too much and you can't keep, another big one is you have to keep your arms straight when you're performing this exercise. You can't keep your arms straight. We're gonna go for 10, that was four. Um, and you're not doing it properly and you're not stretching the right things out. I like using a band because you can kind of 
work and adjust to your range of motion and I can really try and keep my hands tight as I go. This is number six, keep my hands as tight as possible as I go. Whereas if you're using a towel or you're using some sort of stick uh, or pole, then you're in more of a fixed range of motion. We're gonna come back and do two more reps. Good, bring it out, back and in. Good, let's go one more, out nice and strong. Good, back and in. Beautiful, and just sort of shake things out. Let's do our scapular cards again, see if we got a little bit more range of motion through performing that exercise, pulling down, back, up, maybe a little bit. And again, just nice and controlled. We're not trying to rush it as we do things. Good, coming up, around, in, three, good, up, around, down, four, and let's go one more, up, around, and down, five, beautiful, and then we'll finish off with one more set of our pull parts, this time with the opposite foot forward, so I believe I went like this, I'm going to switch to this way, my, my hands actually doubled it up, now we're going to pull that one, oh yeah, a little bit tighter, two, Three, 15 reps, keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Four, no overextending. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, one more, five. Beautiful. And love voila. So to recap what we did. We did our scapular cars, we did our external rotations, we did a set of pull aparts, a set of dislocates, and then scapular cars again, and our pull aparts again. Wicked, wicked little circuit to go through to help keep your shoulders nice and healthy. So if you have this programmed in Trainerize, you can do it. You can add this workout back into your schedule or just save the YouTube link and go back to it whenever. This combination here, for the most part, is going to help Keep your shoulders nice and strong and nice and resilient to injury for years and years to come.